Hey, Chris, I know you got a lot of fancy shindigs in D.C., but you are going to miss a really fancy one that the three of us are going to, four of us are going to tonight out at Shea Stadium. Are you, are you jealous that we're going to have Fox Fan Night out at Mets? I, I, with I the am Mets? incredibly jealous. Is one of you going to throw out the first ball? Um, your best friend, Brian. Yeah, any advice you have, Chris? You've probably done that 20 <laughs> times. Let Gretchen do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see if that happens. He's have you ever tried to man. wrestle the ball away from Brian? <laughs> yeah, I hold on to my balls. <laughs> but, but listen, <laughs> walk away, Chris. Just walk away. All right. Have a great Sunday. Happy Father's Day, Chris. Uh, hello, you two. Hello, you two. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I can no longer speak either. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Go ahead. Hey, Allison, you have the news? <laughs> Thanks, Brian. I owe you one. I like the idea that it shouldn't be about the host and it shouldn't be about the questions. I mean, there are a couple of problems with a town hall, which are, one, it really has to be an independent audience, and, and the one last night was not. I mean, the, it was a wholly owned subsidiary of the McCain uh, campaign. Which is wrong for everybody. What? It's wrong for McCain. He, he needs real friction. Well, that's right, and we 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 all need friction. <laughs> Chris, he needs hard questions. I learned something from Vince McMahon years ago, uh, and that is Actually, he said. I agree with you because I, I, I've I, I've seen him. No, he does need he needs to push back at people, yeah. and I think sometimes you you get a little bit sort of. Sl <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead, talk. Just talk. You're in trouble. <laughs> what you did on Fox and Friends, right? Uh, yeah. Why did you do that? Why did I do that? Yeah. I don't want to relive that. You asked, have I'm you throwing got, out the first pitch of the Met game. For what you did? Uh, Fox and Friends? No, of course not. No one watches in the morning. No one's up, Chris. <laughs> That's I've, a nice thing to say about your show. No, but no one, no one in management. They're in deep meetings. John about, Moody was watching. How do you know? Because I talked to him afterwards. Now I'm in else. trouble. <laughs> and what? Now I'm in trouble. Yes. He did say, I don't know, I thought he was giving you a gift because he said this wraps it up for Brian, but I thought that meant he was giving you a present, a Father's Day present. <laughs> well, what happened is uh, I'm going to throw out the first pitch of the uh, Met game. I thought it would be nice to get Chris's input, and Gretchen asked for it. Gretchen asked my question, which is really, do you have any advice? Because I will throw from the rubber, not from the front of the mound. I will throw it at Fox night. It'll be at Shea Stadium tonight. And I thought Chris was going to give me some advice from I a guy. I did give you some advice. Which was? Let Gretchen do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we're going to say. And then what did you say? Oh, you want to do this again? So I, and uh, Gretchen said, I don't, he goes, uh, Brian doesn't want to give up, uh, Brian will not want to give up the ball. And I go, that's true. I always hold on to my balls. And Chris, you, I, it's true because I do. <laughs> because they're mine. <laughs> you happy? <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. Why don't the Chinese hack into your computer? <laughs> I don't know. Right. They wouldn't find anything there. <laughs> That's well, I've, I've said that you and I are going to take each other over the edge. <laughs> it's going to be like Thelma and Louise. We're going to be on the air together. Yeah, but and one day we're going to be off the air. And we're both. And, and I'm, uh, you know, you're a young man. You need to support your kid. Well, I don't know. You have more talents than I do. Well, Chris, you're more, I wouldn't be missed. People <laughs> at least write about your demise. No one would write about my demise. Well, that might be true, but. I mean, and, and I've got I've got a lot of expenses. I got mortgages. I got alimony. I got a lot of things there. I yeah, guess. I heard about those sweetheart deals at Countrywide. Yeah. I could probably get you one. The two talk radio hosts running America. I'm addicted to Brian and the Judge. Brian and the Judge.